What's cracking, folks? I'm Gnome Huts, and you're watching my video where I redesigned Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. Some of you might be here from my videos where I redesigned the characters from Husband Hotel, and if you're not, you should check them out. Uh, but this process for this new series, Redesigning My Little Pony, is going to be a little bit different from the Hasbun series, since for most of the ponies, I have a very clear idea and color palette that I want to use for them. Because of that, there won't be multiple different color choices or anything like that. Also, just for the fun of it, I'm changing the ponies' backstories and stuff for the fun of it. This will make sense later on. This is Twilight Sparkle. She's an alicorn, the princess of friendship, and she's what I call the show's starting character. That's basically how I explain a character and a group of main characters who give the show the start or beginning to why everything is happening. Um, I'm gonna be drawing her in my style, not the My Little Pony art style. Just thought I would clarify that. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin! So in my version of My Little Pony, ponies who are training to become alicorns train under one of the three established princesses, Celestia, Luna, and Cadence, and the princesses choose their apprentice. Being chosen by Celestia is a big honor, and it doesn't happen often. Twilight is chosen by Princess Luna. In the show, Twilight is sent to Equestria to make friends. However, I'm changing this. In my version of MLP, Equestria has one of the largest libraries, so Twilight is going there for studying and magic practice, not to make friends because she's a hermit. She's there to study, basically, and she works at the library to help people find the books that they need. In this version, the ponies aren't weird adults. They're going to be teens who are studying the practices that they had in the show. So, for example, Rarity is an already an established and well-made fashion designer. She's an apprentice and becoming an established fashion designer. That kind of stuff. In the next videos, I'll explain how Twilight meets the specific character in the show that I'm redesigning. So, back to Twilight. Twilight is studying under Luna, but the Nightmare Moon episodes are still going to happen, though it's going to happen a little differently. Luna becomes corrupted and tries to take over and is banished to the moon. Celestia realizes Luna is training Twilight and seeks her out. I imagine Celestia is sort of a mystical figure who doesn't actually appear in the show until much later, because she's basically God, so Twilight finds out that her mentor has been banished and will be studying long distance under Celestia's wing. Twilight is happy about this, however, she loved working under Luna, as Luna shared Twilight's personality and being calm and quiet, and listening, and Celestia is more of a commanding figure, and Twilight doesn't work well under that kind of mentor. So Twilight devises a plan to get Luna back and to figure out what actually happened. As she's doing research, Rarity, Applejack, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash help her out, and she makes contact with Luna. Luna explains that she was infected by the changelings and they planted thoughts in her mind. You know, the evil ones that are like, you're jealous of your sister, that kind of stuff. Luna expresses to Twilight that she's sorry that all this happens and she just wants to come home, and she explains to Twilight that the only way she can be released from the moon is two ways, the element of harmony or Celestia. Since Celestia is out of the question, Twilight does more research into the elements of harmony and discovers that there needs to be six ponies to operate it. Luckily, Twilight had been working with five other ponies, and she asks them for their help. The ponies accept, and they venture into the woods, where they meet Zakora, who gives them a map and more information on the elements of harmony, and explains that in order for them to work, there needs to be trust established. My version of Twilight has trust issues, so the whole traveling montage is to establish Twilight doesn't trust easily, and to show her trusting and forming a friendship with these new ponies. Eventually, the main six finds the elements, frees Luna, and Luna makes up with Celestia, and that sets up season two up for Twilight forming a tighter bond with the ponies she's become friends with in the first season, and her gradually getting over her trust issues and awkwardness when interacting with people.
My biggest problem with Twilight is that she's just boring to look at, so I changed that up. Originally, I was going to make her blue with purple hair because when you google Twilight, a majority of the time is blue with oranges and pinks, but I couldn't find a way to work the way I wanted it, so I ended up just making her focal point her hair, making it look like stars and space and stuff. I added some more fancier visual markings as well, like lightening her hoof hairs and adding star freckles. I just, I really wanted to give her star freckles. I decided on a ponytail for no other reason than I thought it looked good. I was struggling with her hair as you saw in the sketching process, and the ponytail was the best looking one for me. My version of Twilight is that she's the studious girl, more, fo more focused on her grades than anything else. Nothing is more frustrating than trying to read and your hair keeps getting in the way. A lot of Twilight redesigns give her glasses, which I really wanted to do, but I wanted to avoid stereotypical nerd girl as much as possible. So unfortunately, my Twilight doesn't have glasses, but I, I wish I could have, but I just I didn't want to give her that stereotype. It's been done too much. well aware that this design would be way too hard to animate, but I just wanted to design a design that I thought was good. I wasn't really thinking about it from the perspective of, well, this needs to be animated, like with Has Been Hotel. I think mostly the reason for that is because My Little Pony, at least this generation, is done already, so it's not going to be created or anything like that. It's going to be brought back as a cast of different ponies. So... I think I gave myself a little bit more fun with this one because I knew that it wasn't wasn't going to be animated, it's not supposed to be animated, it's just a design for fun. I noticed that a lot of her colors were becoming too same, it was all purple and pink and orange, and I needed to find an accent color that would balance it well. And I decided on this pretty green color, which I made her eye color and the color of her purse. Now I'm going to design her cutie mark, which I was going to use the green for, but then I was like, no, that looks stupid. I should make it star colored. I ended up going with a book because I wanted her to be more book focused, maybe she's a writer or something like that, as opposed to magic stars. It just felt it fit her character more with the idea of her working in a library and things like that. So that's what I did. Her chest area was looking a little bit bland, so I decided to add more interest there, and I wanted to make her muzzle the same chest color, so that way it kind of matched and looked more cohesive. And this is my Twilight design. So what do you guys think of this design? What do you think I could have done better or added? What do you think of my take on the story? Let me know down below, I love hearing from you guys. I showed this design to my Discord server and my friend ImmortalTrash389 on Tumblr responded with this absolutely wonderful fan art of her and I'm not lying when I said I cried over it for like 20 minutes. 
If you guys want to contact me, I have social media, Tumblr, Twitter, DeviantArt, Instagram, yada yada. I have a Discord server that's going to be linked down below where you guys can talk to me and my friends and comment on things, post your art, show people. If you like this design or my art, definitely hit subscribe and the bell notification. I have five more ponies to post after this and other spitty videos. I have other spideos to upload. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to drink your meds and take your water. Bye!